Hi everyone, this is Frank DeRose, bass instructor at the School of Blues, with the next installment of Blues Jam Survival, Songs We Should Know. Today, I'm going to revisit the song Sweet Home Chicago, and I am going to show you the style that Duck Dunn uses in the Blues Brothers version of this song. But before I get into the playing example, I want to encourage you, if you're new to my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And of course, I would like you all to check the like button. Now, if you want to learn more about blues bass playing, you can get my books published by Mel Bay, the School of the Blues Lesson Series. They're shown over my shoulder. You can get them at Mel Bay Direct. And if you're an international customer, they do have international purchase instructions. And they're available on Amazon. And if you are international, look for Amazon in your home country. Because the link I have, hot linked below in the description of the video, is the U.S. one. And of course, as a reminder, I do give personal instruction I use Skype, so you can contact me via email, and my email is in the ending credits, and it's also listed below. And if you are so inclined, please tip me. No amount is too small. My PayPal information is both listed below and in the ending credits. So now, I'll get set up. You open the tab. And let's learn how Duck Dunn thinks about his bass lines for Sweet Home Chicago. Let's have a look at the tap. Right in the first measure is a classic Duck Dunn bass part for this song. He first plays the E note. Then he plays the fourth fret on the A string. That's the sixth note of the scale. And he goes down a whole step, which is two frets, down to the second fret. That's the fifth note of the E major scale, and he goes back and plays the sixth note. So it sounds like this. That's a classic sound that Duck Dunn used in many, many songs. And in Sweet Home Chicago, he embellishes that and uses other options. Sometimes he goes straight down the scale. One, six, five, three. And sometimes he'll use the higher E right here at the second fret of the D string and it'll sound like this. And then he'll insert a triplet. Or he'll shuffle. So my video today is not to teach you each and every note in each and every measure of the song. I want to give you the home bass elements that Duck Dunn uses to play this song. And that is the root 6-5-6. Six, six. So that when you are trying to embellish it, you know what to go back to. And when in doubt, you stay home and play the primary part. Now, as you can see from the tab, the second measure is an A chord. That makes it a quick change blues. That second measure sounds like that. Same kind of pattern as measure one. And it's a quick change blues pretty much through the whole song. 
but they do the stop time verses and they play just the one chord, the E. Then they come in on measure five. Aha! On measure six, I give us a little inversion, a little nuance, embellishment to get you thinking about that one simple embellishment so that you might be able to incorporate that in your own playing. So now, why don't you work on this a little bit, stop the video here, and then when you come back, I'm going to look down and start to play her and we'll play this fundamental version by Duck Dunn of Sweet Home Chicago. Now, in that Blues Brothers version, there is a Matt Guitar Murphy intro, and I have tried to give a little bit of that guitar intro as context at the beginning of this recording. My guitar playing is no Matt Guitar Murphy, but it serves the purpose of giving us context. So here we go. I'm going to start the play along track. Duck Dunn style, Sweet Home Chicago, the Blues Brothers. So now don't go anywhere. I'll be right back with some final thoughts. Oh yeah, Duck Dunn, what a great bass player. I really love the way he plays the root six, five as the first three notes of his bass pattern sometimes ending with a triplet, sometimes going to the third, playing root six, five, three, kind of going down, sometimes shuffling and sometimes playing quarter notes, all in the same measure. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it opens your eyes and your ears. I have, uh, in the last 10 or 12 years, the more I study Duck Dunn and the way he played the blues. I've incorporated that root six into many of the bass lines that I play routinely. One of my students last night was commenting on how uh, another local bass player also does the same style. Root six, five are the opening three notes for their bass line in a blues. So until I see you again, keep on thumping that bass. Bye for now.